In this video, we're going to practice comparing fractions by reasoning about their size. That means we're going to think about how much space the fractions would take up in order to determine which fraction represents a greater amount. Let's start at the top left with one-third and two-thirds. Now, the way I like to think of this is I like to picture that I have a candy bar. And maybe we'll just go ahead and draw a small representation down here. And of that candy bar, I'm either going to eat one-third, which will be represented by this amount, or I'm going to take the same candy bar and eat two-thirds, which would probably be more like that. So just by reasoning in my head, I could picture what two-thirds looks like and what one-thirds looks like, and I could easily see that two-thirds is greater than one-third. Moving on, let's think of two-fifths and two-thirds. Again, let's take those same candy bars and just reason here. Now, if we have two out of five equal pieces, we could break this up into five equal pieces and shade in two. And then we could break this up into three equal pieces for two-thirds and shade in two out of the three for two-thirds. And as you can see, two-thirds is much greater than two-fifths. Three-fourths and three-eighths. Again, by now you could probably realize that if we had three out of four equal pieces, it would be greater than three-eighths. And the reason is, when you take something that is three out of four equal pieces, you're only breaking it into four pieces. Whereas if you have three-eighths, you're now breaking that into eight equal pieces, and three of eight is much less than three out of four. And the last one, four-fifths and two-fifths, Again, just visualize it. We're going to reason to think, see that four out of five pieces is most of the candy bar, whereas two out of five is less than half, showing that four-fifths is greater than two-fifths. Whenever you're reasoning about fractions to compare, try to picture an object that you see in your daily life and think about what fraction of that object you would, it would look like when you represent it with the fraction.